after dislocating a vertebrae in his neck while playing on the Genesis reunion tour, Phil Collins heartbreakingly could not withstand the pain of playing the drums. Even trying to tape drumsticks to his hands in order to play. Despite successful surgery on his spinal cord, Collins explained that he had sadly lost his drumming and piano playing ability. Further surgery to his back had meant he was left with eight screws in his spine and a left foot that he could no longer feel due to numbness. This meant that he was forced to use a walking stick. Due to this Phil is often seen sitting down when performing as he struggles to stand for long periods of time. In 2017, the star performed sitting down with the assistance of a cane at London's Royal Albert Hall. During this run of performances he also suffered a fall in his hotel room. After being rushed to hospital he had to undergo further surgery to fix the gash on his forehead, meaning the rest of the Albert Hall performances were cancelled. A source at the time revealed, Phil is in a bad way with his head in bandages. He is conscious and talking, but he is frustrated and upset. He is struggling with his limited mobility as he has loved being on stage these past few days. The Sunshine Supplement linked to increase of this deadly disease The statement continued to say that the singer suffers from drop foot making it difficult for him to walk. Now it is clear that this condition was a result of his back surgery. Again in 2019 the musician was pictured in America with a walking stick just days before he headed out on tour. His son Nicholas has taken over the drums at his concerts while Phil reassures fans don't worry I can still sing. Yet, fans who tuned into BBC Breakfast this Thursday morning to speak about another upcoming Genesis tour were taken aback by his appearance. Discussing the band's future the singer said, I think just generally for me, I don't know if I want to go out on the road anymore. Indicating that his health conditions have finally caught up with him. Dementia, the first symptom may not be memory loss, major new finding, expert Michael Caine health, my days are numbered, insight Patrick Stewart, actor diagnosed very unexpectedly with heart disease, latest, what is drop foot? Drop foot or foot drop is a muscular weakness or paralysis which makes it difficult to lift the front part of your foot and toes. It leads to individuals dragging their foot along the ground as they walk. As the NHS states it is caused as a result of brain or spinal injury and usually only affects one foot, but both may be affected depending on the cause. It is common in patients who suffer from multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's disease. Damage to the lumbar and sacral spine is the most likely cause for drop foot. These parts of the spine are connected to the perineal nerve, which is a division of the sciatic nerve, the nerve that branches from your lower back through your hips and down each leg. The perineal nerve also extends into each ankle and foot and transmits signals to muscle groups responsible for ankle, foot and toe movement and sensation. When this is damaged signals cannot be sent and therefore the individual loses the ability to be able to move or feel sensations in that part of their body. Is drop foot curable? The recovery period depends on the cause of the condition and how long the individual has had it. In some cases, such as Phil Collins it can be permanent. Various methods of treatment are available to make the condition more manageable. This includes wearing braces or splints, physical therapy, nerve stimulation or surgery. Wearing an ankle foot brace means that it will be kept in a straightened position to improve your walking. 
comfort is aided by wearing a close-fitting sock between your skin and the brace as it minimizes the effects of friction and rubbing. When adjusting to wearing a brace the NHS recommends to avoid wearing any high-heeled shoes and use Velcro instead of lace-up trainers. Electrical nerve stimulation is similar to using a TENS machine and in some cases can improve your walking ability. It is administered through placing two self-adhesive electrode patches on the skin. One is placed close to the nerve supplying the muscle and the other close to the center of the muscle. The stimulator then produces electrical impulses that stimulate the nerves to contract the affected muscles. A sensor placed in your shoe activates the stimulator whenever your heel leaves the ground, meaning an impulse is sent every time you take a step. Surgery may be the last option for those who suffer with severe or long-term drop foot. The surgery aims to correct permanent movement loss from muscle paralysis and involves transferring a tendon from the stronger leg muscles to the muscle that should be pulling your ankle upwards. Another form of surgery involves fusing the foot or ankle bones to help stabilize the ankle, however this can cause lasting side effects. If an individual feels that surgery is their best option a GP or specialist doctor will advise them on the pros and cons.